Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. So let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago recorded six homicides in the first four days of 2023 and continues its lead among this group. In the same span last year, they had already had 11. So at least so far, the Safety Act hasn't made things worse. And Louisville, Kentucky also had six this year already, so Chicago's doing okay. Philly had four homicides so far, three less than what they had in both 2022 and 2021 at this time. Baltimore recorded two homicides. Both were of boys under the age of 17. Washington, D.C. also had two murders. At this time last year, they had three. So things are starting out pretty good there. I removed Minneapolis from this list for now because I don't trust their numbers. So for now, it's been replaced with New York City, which had one homicide. And Milwaukee isn't showing any homicides yet this year. Last year at this time, they had two. So overall, 2023 is starting out pretty good. There were 10 mass shootings. I covered a couple of them, one of which in Cedar City, Utah, was a mass murder with eight victims that died. All the usual suspects had them, Baltimore, D.C., New Orleans, and Chicago. There were 10 mass shootings at this point in 2022 as well. Seven children under the age of 11 and 18 between 12 and 17 were shot and killed. The number for the teens is pretty normal, but the seven for the younger kids is really high. And that was due in large part to the mass murder in Utah. There were 12 defensive use of a firearm incidents, which at this point last year, there were 15. And last year had the least defensive use incidents recorded in at least the last 10 years. When defensive use is high, homicides are lower. So starting out the year with low defensive use numbers isn't a good sign. Well, that's all I got for you today. I'll be back next week with the week two numbers. Till then, have a great week and I'll catch you next week. Support this channel and pick yourself up some original crime-related apparel. Look for the link in the description.